Good morning, it's 5.45 and we're just waiting on my dad to arrive and actually I think I've timed that absolutely perfectly because uh, here he is. Still in his car. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, today we're going to Donington Park for the first time. I've never actually been for the British Superbike so hopefully it's going to be a good day. eight o'clock just arrived and it's actually fairly quiet we're down behind the pits here Honda Racing uh, and Ducati and things like that we're gonna just have a wander first track action isn't until like nine or something I've forgotten what I said or is it eight um, nine. nine so we're just gonna have a have a wander and see really because I've not been here before and my dad hasn't visited in Two or three years. A, a, good, a good few years so we're gonna have a wander and see what's what as we walk past Yamaha as well and dad's uh, just having a look at the new Light. Triumph Rocket 3 bit of a beast of a motorcycle it looks mint though, it looks absolutely brilliant I think, absolutely mega, serious piece of kit that. Don't you find it crazy how sometimes bikes are insane, when you put it into context that my car at home is a 1.6 litre and that rocket is a 2.5 litre, just shaft driven, a mad piece of kit like what what a thing what a thing beautifully packaged though you can see it's all engine but what a machine the what a machine like, uh, street dragster. yeah well the the last just she just described it as she said it's basically a drag car but a, a bike sort of thing it's just serious piece of kit serious piece of kit going past some of the paddock now just making our way through sort of the paddock now going past summer, the bikes warming up, getting ready for the day's action. There you go dad, burger place. Oh well, <laughs> there you go, now we are talking. Sorted. Uh, yeah, making our way round to what is turn one, that way on, heading towards Crater Curves. Got a bit of so be breakfast. What's, yeah. What? What were you saying, this must be? My breakfast on camera. You want your breakfast on camera? <laughs> We've both got breakfast. And here is And we're headed up here now uh, again on the way to Craners. So the first bit of Donington track. Sighted. Here we are then. Uh, and this is where we're gonna be for at least a bit, I think, is turn one is over there, and then down, I think it's Craner Curves down to the bottom of the hill down there then up where the bridge used to go across there going up the hill hopefully you can see that this is an absolutely mega spot as well and let me tell you no sim actually gets across just how sort of steep this is actually you know you're going downhill in a on a sim but this is like how far below us would you say the old hairpin down there is 30, 40 feet. 30, 40 feet down on us, and we're not even at the top of the hill. It's pretty crazy, it really is. It just shows you, no matter how good these, these sims are and laser scanned and things like that, they really can't portray the reality still. But, awesome, track action soon. <laughs>
track action has just started and it's starting with the Ducati, I think it's called the Ducati Performance Cup and I'm not going to lie, me and my dad were just sat here and when we heard him come out of the pits, both of us, like excited kids, here we go we watch. The main pack should be coming now, they're just on warm up. You absolutely do love to hear it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. We still sat down here and the Honda Talent Cup are going past right now. Um, which I guess are like the young guys and things like that going past. And I've just actually looked at the timetable properly and realised that this afternoon there are seven races including one from a British Superbike and if you think that's actually incredible value for money because this is Saturday which isn't traditionally seen as the race day it's normally Sunday isn't it that's seen as the race day so even on if you like qualifying day you get in six support races and a British Superbike race as well so I think it's incredible value for money it's it, like the British touring car as well on race day that's incredible value for money um, and these national series really really need your guys support so if there's a British Superbike if there's a British touring car make sure you're getting out there and, and, and supporting it um, because the circuits need it the series need it um, without without us it's very difficult for these places to continue so Check them out guys, massive value for money. And we've got the British Superbikes come out now for qualifying, I think it is. Now, there we go. Is there a better sound? I'm not sure there is. just gonna go up and meet uh, Simon with the name from chat who's here as well um, and should be somewhere just up here so this is cool meet a viewer always a cool thing though I'm not sure where he is apart from he's by this grandstand apparently met up with Simon with the name Simon with the name <laughs> from chat and we're on our way to the garages now I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you because I'm being respectful of it all but if I can I will I'll um, keep him in check <laughs> um, does this mean I don't have to give you any more coins no you, no, you have to keep doing that <laughs> um, and yeah hopefully we'll get some bits and bobs and maybe yeah something that you wouldn't normally see so when we got to the garage i was very very respectful of the access that i was given and um sort of the favor that simon was kind of doing for me to have my dad there and to be allowed in the garage in general so what i did was i put my gopro and mic and everything away in my backpack and I just got my phone out and I took stills and I had a chat with, I believe it was Daryl, the mechanic chap. And also I did take a little video of the pit lane and the bike while it was running. Um, I made it really obvious what I was doing, but I wasn't doing anything crazy. I wasn't, you know, vlogging and things like that. And I just hope you guys understand. I didn't want to betray like any, any Simon in any way. I didn't want to get anyone in bother because uh, I know there are rules around it so what you're seeing here is the bmw uh Cinetic, um team garage basically and around the bike um, and i asked about the bike and how much of it is derived from the road bike and basically um, it has to have the silhouette of the road bike and like the the frame if you like but while i was looking at it i got a few a few cues while i was looking at it. for example the swing arm um and the um clutch come from suta i noticed that and also he said that the fuel tank isn't actually that on top it's down lower within the bike and i know they do this in motogp too 
to keep the um, center of gravity lower within the bike and improve its handling characteristics. And also, another interesting thing about it is that we asked about the bikes and how similar they were for the two riders. And the, the mechanic, he said, basically, that they're completely different because the riders weigh the same, uh, differently, sorry. Um, the 10 kilos different in weight. So apart from the fact they've got, like, the same frame and, and bits and bobs like that, the setup is almost entirely different. Um, so that, you know, the rider would feel completely out of place on the other bike sort of thing. Um, but data is shared between the two riders completely. There's no secrecy in that. But, like I say, all of the setup is completely different. Um, so what follows is a little bit of the bike running and in the pit lane, guys. I really hope you appreciate it. I appreciate the access that was given and sharing that time with my dad. So thank you once again to Simon Tycho and the wider team for allowing us in there for what was like 10, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. I was just loving the fact I was right next to this machine. So I'm really thankful for that. Enjoy the footage of the bike running and the rest of the vlog. wandering around and there's some nice bikes sat here we've got an Aprilia RSV4 RF sat here nice piece of kit my personal favorite sat here as well a Ducati 959 Panigale very very nice and obviously we have the Fireblade in the Repsol colors some seriously nice pieces of kit dotted about the place as we go back past the Triumph stand, my dad still lusting quite strongly over the rocket. Uh, I still can't get over the fact that thing's a two and a half litre bike, but I think that's a cool looking bike. Do you think my dad should buy it? Do you think my dad should buy it? I reckon he should. I think he will, because it's him. But. There you go, very nice. We're down at the same place again, just after turn one, ready for qualifying, which is happening right now for the British Superbike. Um, what a day so far, what a day so far. We're staying in and around this area because, quite frankly, it seems like the best area to watch around Donington. We could be mistaken because we haven't been up to the back end of the circuit. But from here, you see all of turn one and you see it down the hill. And all, and all the way back up the hill, right up to the back end of the circuit. You're seeing a huge amount of track, really, here. It's about the best place, I think. So uh, we're going to enjoy the quali here. Simon says he's going to come back down. Um, and, yeah, let's just enjoy the bikes. Oh. It's just been raining, and we've got the Ducatis coming out. Now they had a two-lap warm-up. This could be fun. Don't know, though. than me because it was actually raining a 
few minutes ago. Like, actually, I wouldn't fancy that at the minute. I wouldn't fancy that at the minute. As a support series, this is absolutely mega. So, it's the Ducati Tri Options uh, Court. And in it, there are a couple of names this season that you might recognise. One being uh, Chris the Stoker Walker from back in the day, world superbike rider, very successful winner, um, Assen, and also um, uh, British superbike, super successful in the British superbike. And also, uh, for road racing fans out there, uh, John McGuinness is also in this series. So, um, yeah, it's super competitive. And if, if you like your sort of riders from back in the day, there's people to sort of uh, root for in this series. Here we go. Race one of the British Superbike weekend. slow there towards the back absolutely crazy honestly seeing a field whether it's cars or bikes when you see like top-end professionals doing it it's absolutely crazy because really riding like that normally is just insane <laughs> got the safety car out I'm not exactly sure why as I said we've got no big screens here so I don't know what the issue is but we do have the safety car out, which is absolutely ripping round, to be fair. The field bunching up. I'm not sure what the issue was. We're not seeing anything. But we noticed it. Don't know, though. There must have been someone that's dropped off somewhere or something. It hasn't started raining more or anything like that. Um, if anyone from the organisation of Donington and things is ever watching this please 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 more tannoys and more um more big screens because there are none and the tannoys aren't working where we are so uh, that would help a lot because uh there are many people here with literally no idea what is going on other than we're watching motorbikes go around uh, very quickly around the circuit um they sound very fast. Is the safety car already in? I'm not sure. Well, here we go. Coming back down now, guys. I'm sure you can hear them. Looks like the safety car's already in. Here we go. Back to racing. Brilliant. Brilliant. Race done. One by O'Hara. Yamaha, pretty commanding ride to be fair. He absolutely smashed it. Really, really good ride that. Lots of people seemingly clapping Josh Brooks there as well. There we go, Donington Park, Saturday BSB, a little bit of garage, and uh, yeah, all good, all done. Now for the two hour drive home. Hopefully, we get out quite easily and quite nice. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> And there we go, British Superbike, Donington Park, that's done. What did we think guys, did we enjoy it? Please make sure you're leaving those thumbs up and you're leaving a comment. Um, we do have more plans for vlogs uh, coming up very, very soon in the next couple of weeks. Something else is coming your way as well, so keep your eyes out for it. But until next time guys, see you soon.